Hi, I'm Joachim for Statistics Globe and in this video I'll explain how to convert a matrix to a data frame in the R programming language. In the video I'm going to show you several examples and all of these examples are based on the data frame that we can create with lines 2 to 4 of the code. So if you run these lines of code you can see at the top right of RStudio that a new data frame object appears which is called myDF and we can print this data frame to the RStudio console by running line 5 of the code and then you can see at the bottom in the RStudio console that our data frame contains six rows and three columns x1, x2 and x3. We can also check the class of our data frame by running the class function as you can see in line 7 of the code. And if you run this line of code you can see at the bottom in the RStudio console that the class data.frame has been returned. Now if we want to convert this data frame to a matrix then we can apply the smatrix function as you can see in line 9 of the code and in this line of code we are applying the s.matrix function to our data frame and then we are storing the output of this function in a new data object which is called myMat. So if you run line 9 of the code you can see at the top right of RStudio that a new matrix has been created which is called myMat and we can print this matrix to the RStudio console by running line 10 of the code and then you can see that a matrix has been returned which has exactly the same values as our input data frame but this time this data object has the matrix class. We can also check that by running the class function again as you can see in line 12 of the code. So if you run this line of code you can see that at the bottom in the RStudio console the class of our new data object is returned and as you can see our new data object has the matrix class. You can also see that our output matrix contains only numeric values. However, sometimes it might happen that your input data frame has a different class than you want in the end. And in the next example I will show you how to modify the class of your values in the output matrix. So for this we are first going to duplicate our input data frame as you can see in line 14 of the code. So if you run this line of code you can see at the top right of RStudio that a new data frame has been created which is called myDFFEC. And in the next line in line 15 of the code we are converting one of our columns of our input data frame to the factor class using the sFactor function. So if you run line 15 of the code the data frame is updated so that one of our columns has the factor class. Now if we apply exactly the same code as in the previous example based on the smatrix function then another output matrix is created. However if you print this output matrix to the RStudio console you can see that the class of our values in the matrix is different because this time each value is shown in quotes. So let's assume that we want to convert our output matrix to the numeric class to get exactly the same output matrix as in the first example. Then we can use the apply function as you can see in lines 20 to 22 of the code. And within the apply function we need to specify the s matrix no quote function and the s numeric function to convert our output data to numeric. So if you run lines 20 to 22 of the code a new output matrix is created which is called myMatNum and we can print this matrix to the RStudio console by running line 23 of the code and then you can see that our output matrix was converted to the numeric class because this time there are no quotes around our values. So in this tutorial I have explained how to convert a data frame to a matrix using the R programming language. However, in case you want to learn more on this topic, you could check out my homepage statisticsglobe.com because on the homepage I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the content of this video in some more detail. Furthermore, if you have liked the video, I would be very happy if you leave me some positive feedback in the comments and make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notifications in future when I'm releasing new videos to the channel. That's it for this video. Thanks a lot. See you next time. Bye bye.